Yeah, we return uh, our entire core team, which is you know awesome as a coach. Uh, um, and we had seven All Stars last year, and they all returned. So it's hard to single anyone out. Um, but a couple of good surprises would be Alana Fairfax uh, and Carrie Wood both coming back for their fifth year. Anytime you have an impact player or starter coming back for their fifth year, it's a it's a key addition, a key return, I guess. Um, and then you know certainly we had a couple of first team All Stars in Kinsella, Noseworthy Smith. Uh, from Wolfville and Emily Nickerson from Coldbrook, who was also uh, AUS Conference Rookie of the Year. And uh, as I said, we have seven All Stars. You know, another key player and uh, is, is Megan Earl from Mount Pearl, Newfoundland, who was second in the league uh, in the league in scoring last year. So uh, that's certainly a key returnee uh, as well. Yeah, you know, we have uh, another really good crop of, of athletes coming in. Um, one that would maybe stand out is we have Laura Gray coming in. She played four years uh, in the OUA, uh, three-time OUA All-Star, and uh, is here for an MEB in counseling. Um, so to get a player of that caliber in her fifth year uh, is important. Uh, we have some Canada games uh, from the 2013 side for Nova Scotia. A couple of players from that, uh, Gemma LeBlanc, Nicole Womble coming in. I think a lot of the incoming players are good. They're certainly in tough with uh, the quality and depth we have. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, been a good rookie year that we've had uh, of additions that we've come in. Yeah, we need to win one more game, I guess. That's, uh, that's for sure. Um, I think last year uh, we uh, maybe surprised other people, not ourselves as much, but when we got to the final, I think uh, you know a little bit of lack of experience. Um, I think we were happy to be in the final. I think it was a big accomplishment, um, but I don't think we'll be as happy to be in a final this year, I think. Um, there's a lot of good teams in the AUS. We certainly think we should be considered amongst the top there. Um, in soccer, anything could happen, but we're certainly, I would say, in the running for an AUS championship. So what needs to happen? Um, for starters, just that experience and, and maturity um, is key, but um, there's a really positive culture here in terms of working on their own game, in terms of their physical fitness, in terms of preparation, recovery. And I think, uh, you know, we focused on our process goals all summer. So a lot of what needs to happen has been happening in terms of how the team's been preparing itself. Yeah, I think um, the process goals that we've been focusing on all summer and uh, since last season in terms of uh, their uh, preparation, uh, their adherence to the physical fitness program, um, the process goals, uh, to the culture that we have, those are some of the strengths that um, if you have all those pieces in place, um, it, it comes out on the field. Uh, strength of the team, we have a lot of depth. Um, we're another year more experienced and uh, we're a little bit more familiar in playing with each other. Um, we were very tough to score on last year and I think we could be even tougher. Uh, a lot of depth in the back line and then uh, you know, we're just a little bit more dangerous in attack with, uh, with the addition of another attacker at Laura Gray plus the great attackers we already have in Megan Earl and uh, Kinsella and Jordan Smith. Yeah, Alana's um, a leader on the team and she's a lead by example. Um, you know a big thing about playing at this level is uh, your training habits and uh, there's no one better and we have some players with really great training habits but she's she's the one that uh, the players follow in terms of um, how much she's improved her game. A good player coming in has gotten that much better over over her career here because of her um, because of her dedication to training off season and in season. So she brings that. In terms of role um, she sometimes gets undervalued, I think. Uh, she's very valuable to us because often uh, she neutralizes the opponent's uh, top player. And so they don't really get into the game. And Alana spends a lot of time uh, neutralizing them so the other players on the team have uh, more time on the ball, more attack, and they're a bit shut down. Um, she could play in a lot of positions. She's very versatile. Uh, you know, probably along the back with an attacking role. Uh, she's been out wide for us before. And and I think we'll see in training camp how things sort of shake out. Um, but the good thing is with Atlanta, you have um, some versatility, uh, some ability to play her in different positions to, to deal with opponents. And then she has that explosiveness that, get, explosiveness that gets her into the attack. With that num number of key returnees, certainly expectations are high, I think amongst the players and amongst the coaching staff. And so the key will be that um, now we also have teams that won't take us for granted, that won't underestimate us. So the next phase is also becoming a more consistent performer to understand that everyone's going to play their top game against us 
And so, uh, as good as we are, we're still going to have to earn it. Um, but I think that'll that'll allow us to, um, to to be just that much more prepared for playoffs. I think another real key thing when you really look at it, if we're going to win an AUS championship, um, you know, it's happened before where you've played the three games and won it in uh, three days. But certainly, there's an advantage to having just that much more consistency in your season and getting the bye by finishing first or second. I think that would be helpful. Uh, it's not, you know, necessary, but it's, uh, it's certainly ideal to play two games instead of three in a weekend and have that much more energy uh, in the final.